There are also some questions here related to daily worship of the Lord. It's described by uh, Vishnu Chakravati Thakur in his uh, Guru Vastaka. It says, Sri Vikrahana Dana Nityanana Sringaratan Mandira Majanado Yuktasya Bhaktam Chani Injatopi Vande Guru Sri Charanara Binda. It describes Sri Vigrahara, the, the, the deity or, or the form of the Lord, the mercy form of the Lord, Dhana Nityanana, that, that we engage in daily, which is regular or daily worship. So every day the devotees are required to you know, change the clothes of the deity, to offer the deity something to eat, to offer arti to the deity. But also when they approach the deity, part of this, this uh, process of deity worship is a cleansing process. One of the prime, Prabhupada gave many different um, benefits of deity worship, but, he, but he, there, there, there's several that he consistently mentioned. And one of the prime things that Prabhupada mentions about deity worship is personal purification. So, because when we do deity worship, it's very important for us to be clean, very, very clean. And Srila Prabhupada, in, in many places, ha, has described what this means to be very clean. So, by when we engage in deity worship, the requirement is to wear clean clothes, to be, to be freshly bathed etc. You know, a fresh tea luck and things like that. So that when we approach the deity, we're approaching in a very, very clean state. And the idea, part of the idea behind this is, is obviously Krishna is the Supreme Pure. And we cannot approach the Supreme Pure without ourselves being pure. Srila Prabhupada in a, a lecture in 1967 or 8, when he installed the deities, the Rukmini Dwarkanath deities in Los Angeles, he said, he explained how you know, it's just like if, if, you, if you try to approach the fire and you're not fire, then you'll be burnt. He said in the same way, if we try to approach the Supreme Pure and we ourselves are not pure, then there'll be a reaction. So important that in the deity worship, that when we approach the deity, we're as clean as we possibly can be, both internally and externally. It says, Sabaya Abhyantara Suchi, that one must be internally and externally cleansed. So externally cleanse essentially means to keep our body clean, to have clean clothes, to be wearing Vaishnav Tilak. Because when we wear the Vaishnav Tilak, we are signifying that we see our, our body as a temple of God. So in that way we don't, uh, you know, we don't take any intoxication because that would contam contaminate the temple. We don't eat uh, meat, for instance, because that's also very contaminating. So all these different activities we avoid because our understanding is these are contaminating activities. So, also other aspects of purity is, is the place where we, where, where we live. We keep the, the place where we live very clean. We keep the place where we do the deity worship very clean. When we collect flowers for the deity, we put them into a clean pot. Uh, you know, if things fall on the floor, they're, they're not considered clean, so we wash them before we use them. Or if they can't be washed, then we discard them. We don't uh, offer things like that to the deity. So, by this process of purification, then, you know, or the external cleanliness, the external affects the internal. So by being externally very clean, then this helps us to become internally clean as well. And additionally, with, with the internal cleanliness, we chant Hare Krishna, we meditate upon the form of the Lord, we meditate upon the Lord's abode, we meditate upon the Lord's associates, med meditating upon the Lord's activities. And this also helps us to become internally purified. So the process of deity worship is very much focused on purification for the individual.